Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm here to tell you that Azteca is disgusting, and I have authority to say that because I have sunglasses, and that makes me cool. Azteca is a bad world, let's be honest. Uh, no one wants to do it. Uh, if you ever have, like, genuinely been like, yes, I'm excited, I'm going to Azteca, you're probably the spawn of Satan, and you might not deserve the right to life, but... That's okay. We can get past that with time. You just need to develop into a better person. Azteca. Why is it so bad? And how to fix it? All good questions that I have asked. Because I ask the right questions always at all times. Let's get into it. First, look at this. I'm bringing this up, look at this. You see what this is? This is the Azteca quest tree. Uh, let me scroll here, and as you can see, I, I'm continuing scrolling, I'm still scrolling, and it, it's 197 quests long. Now let me tell you, it doesn't need to be 197 quests long. It could be half of that, and still be, it would honestly be a much better world if it was half that. Um, now, if King's Isle says, well we can't half that, that's way too many quests cut, let me tell you what you can cut. First off, you can cut half of this bullshit. Tierra de Brea, remove it from the game. Um, there's this stupid thing where you... Uh, that, what's her name? Zen Zen Seven Star, literally the worst character in this game. Um, she goes, yeah, so you need to challenge this guy who's being a bit of a dick. And you're like, okay, let me go kill him. And she's like, no, no, no. You need to follow culture and our rules. And I'm like, since when have I ever respected someone's culture in Wizard 101? You know what I'm saying? It's stupid. It made, it's so angry, it made me take my sunglasses off for a second. We need to challenge them to a legitimate battle, right? And to do that, we need to, like, lay frogs out in front of their thing. All, all that kind of stuff. All that crap. Let me tell you, it's stupid. It's disgusting. It's annoying, and it makes that entire street double the length that it has to be. Literally double the quest that it has to be. Going back to this, another section that I think you can remove is right here. Right here, you see this long section where it's a lot of talking, and then some bosses sprinkled in? It, it's really annoying, because it's all you going to the Zoltan Dock and trying to kind of... Also, I think you're looking for a traitor to the king... And it makes, it like, jabates you three times. It's like, is this the traitor to the king? Fight them to find out. And then it's not. And then it ends up being this random guy in the Zocalo. Really just annoying and not cool. This is 20 quests that, like, realistically could be done in 5 to 10. Um, and has been done in 5 to 10 with other worlds. Now that's the quest part of it. I'm not going to keep talking about the quest part. Because I would like to say, despite it being 200 chrysalis is 300 but i still feel like in those 300 chrysalis quests it's less than the 200 azteca quests and i don't know how that works i don't know how you can have 100 quests more and somehow feel shorter that's not how this game should work it's not how any game should work that's kind of messed up let's talk about more in depth of why azteca sucks beyond the quest value first we'll talk about the story it's just straight boring. A lot of it's straight boring. I think the most interesting part of the Aztecan story, to be honest, is probably the ending and around that area. And it does definitely speed up once you get to, uh, what's that called? The Twin Giants? The Twin Giants. Twin Giants and Jabalba feels a lot faster than all of this mess. The Floating Mountains actually is one of my favorite streets in the entire world, actually. Um, and I really do like the Floating Mountains. I think it's well-paced, it's well-designed, it's cool. And the reason for that is, is that, uh, it, it's not designed like ass. It doesn't make you do 300 walking quests through it. You just get right to the point, which is defeat boss after boss, and they aren't even, there's some difficult bosses, but they're not as bad as some other bosses. And while we're on the topic of bosses, let's talk about why the bosses suck. Because... This was prior to uh, Imperia Mirage era when they started actually labeling dual typings of schools. This is back when it said the boss had one school type, like a boss, say, was death, 
And uh, it actually was like, hey, by the way, they have this hidden buff where they're just, they have full storm mastery and have like an 100% chance to critical with storm spells. And I'm like, well, great, fantastic. Thanks, thanks, King's Isle. Thank you. Now, I think that this could be easily solved if they just go back and label those bosses with the dual typing that we see in Imperia and Mirage, but they don't. Instead, they're like, yeah, fuck them kids. That one meme. Yeah, that's what, that's what King's Isle is saying. S screw us as a fan base. We don't deserve um, happiness or a well-made game. We deserve this. Azteca. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, big brain, big pun. Um, that really sucks. Uh, but let's also talk about... I forget what I was saying. Give me a second to collect my brain thoughts. My brain is so massive that there's a lot of thoughts in there, and I need time to collect them. All right, I figured out the final thought I had running through my brain at one point in time that I wanted to talk about, and this is the last thought I'll talk about on Azteca, and that's the fact that the story was kind of pointless. Kind of, not only was it boring, but it just didn't even matter in the grand scheme of things, which, I mean... It, it makes sense on an interesting level, but at the same time, it's just kind of lame. And that's the fact that we come here for, for the really the only reason that Morganth is going to destroy it. And then, uh, and, and then it just ends up dying anyway. We failed our mission. We're failures. An entire race and species of people, and by race and species, I mean multiple races and species, an entire world is now boom. It is gone. Uh, we shouldn't even be able to technically come back to it, because it should be dead from Jabalba. But, you know what? Whatever. I guess us not mattering in the grand scheme of things is fine, right? It's not like, uh, you know, it's not like we're a, a powerful wizard, and we could probably save them if we worked hard enough. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, who really cares about all that kind of stuff? Um... Also, I want to talk about another unsatisfying point. This is the last point I'm going to make. And this is one that just came to my brain. And that's the fact that fucking Malastare is back. Malastare appears, doesn't he? Right at the end, he goes, hey, I'm Malastare. Um, I have been saved, saved from the void by, by, not the void, but from death by Morganth. She brought me back as a skeleton man. And uh, that's kind of okay, whatever. And then that obviously sets up Castle Darkmoor, but I just want to know why he had such a minor impact. All he did was was show up and go, hey, I'm Malastare, what's poppin', my dude? And then he fell into the void like a useless sack of crap. He wasn't even strong, his fight wasn't climactic, it was just kind of, I'm dead now, and now I'm more dead because you killed me again. And that's really it. And then he flies through the void for a while and goes, Whoa, I can do shadow magic now, and now I'm on Darkmoor, and then I challenged you to Kondavasi or whatever, duel to the death, all that kind of stuff, and then we kill his undead, dead corpse again that we've killed. Big brain time. You know what, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to make a rant video on why I hate Azteca, uh, under my new persona, the Kaiser Noah persona of sunglasses and pain. Um... Yeah, let me know if you like this. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Uh, I, I don't really care if you don't like it. Uh, I, I experience no guilt or remorse or anything. I don't experience emotions, actually. I'm completely empty inside, and that is why I'm here. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like at the sub button, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Adios.